Hi everyone, Tiana here. Welcome back to our channel, Three Little Monkeys. Uh, today we're doing a video um, all about cloth nappies. has been um, highly requested. I've got a lot of friends who are expecting babies or have babies, um, thinking about babies that are interested in how we went about going using cloth nappies. So the main one is when we started using cloth nappies. I did a lot of research when I was pregnant and sort of had everything almost ready to go uh, when I arrived. Um, we didn't want to use them in hospital because I didn't want to have to worry about coming back to do laundry so we probably started within the first week of bringing him home from hospital um, I was pretty keen to just jump straight in. The brand we use is Kanga Care they make two versions they have a pocket diaper uh, called Rumparoos and they make a similar version which is a newborn newborn size only nappy um, and they're called Little Joeys. Um, so they've got the same designs, the same kind of style, uh, except the Little little Joeys are an all-in-one diaper. Um, how many nappies we got? Um, with the newborn one, I was really nervous. Um, they were saying that Noah's gonna be quite a big baby, so I was nervous that he wasn't gonna fit into them. We got 12, uh, which is sort of enough for like a day or two. Newborn um, babies do poop a lot, so we did go through these ones a lot. Um, I found they really fit him well, um, but yeah, we did only get 12. I wouldn't say I would get more than that unless um, you had like a premi baby. These are perfect for premi babies. Not a lot of other cloth diapers do fit premies, um, but yeah, Noah was eight pound 12, so. Uh, they fit him for a little while, not too, I don't remember them feeding him for too long, but definitely I would say at least a month, maybe six weeks from when we started using them. Um, and then the Rumparoos are the all-in-one and we got 28 of them. I didn't have 28 when we started, um, I think I only had 24 and I just found that I was doing laundry like too often. Um, so I ordered another couple just to um, get us through like the extra day. It was sort of like doing them every one and a half days and I was like, no, I need to push to two, two and a half days. So we ended up getting the extra four. I'm so glad we do have them. Uh, but I don't think that we would need any more than that. Um, in saying that our son doesn't poop a lot, so um, we may not change as much as um, some others. But I really wouldn't say you'd need any more than 30. How do we find the cloth nappies? Um, I love them. I don't find them very difficult at all. But they do fit him very well. He finds them very comfortable. Um, Noah has eczema, so in the summer months, if we left them on too long, he would get a little bit of a rash. But we did find the same thing with disposables. We tried to switch to disposables for a week or so just to see if it helped, and it didn't really help him at all. So. Um, I find if you're changing them often, then it's not a problem. Uh, there is a lot of washing involved, um, so <laughs> it's certainly not um, the easiest option, but I think it's definitely manageable. Like, I'm back to work now. I was really nervous how that would work, um, but it's fine. Like, I do, I do washing maybe three times, three loads a week just of nappies. Uh, they can go in the dryer. They can be hung up, so if it's, like, raining, you don't have to really worry, like, they're not going to be dry. I think I was most nervous about how my husband would find them, if he would keep up with me, because it was really sort of my idea and push for them. So, James, how did you feel when your wife told you you'd be using cloth nappies? Um, I was a little hesitant at first, just I suppose from not knowing too much about them. Um, and even once we started, I was still a bit iffy with you know having to deal with the poops and not just being able to put them into a bag and be done with it. So how do you feel now after using cloth nappies for 10 months? Good, it's been pretty easy. Um, definitely easy using the cloth wipes as well as the cloth nappies. Just when you go and change Noah, you just wipe him, put everything in the nappy, you fold it up and put it in the nappy bag to be cleaned. So that's been pretty easy. It's, 
really it's not too different than doing disposables other than the cleaning side of things. And do you actually um, wash the nappies? I don't actually wash them in the washing machine, but I have had to do some pooey ones and change those ones, and they're not too bad. Um, you know, the hosing the poo off in, into a toilet's not the most enjoyable job, but it's easy enough to do and you know, takes all of 30 seconds. So are you happy that you are, you have chosen cloth nappies? Yes, we are. Ha I am happy that we've chosen cloth nappies. Would you recommend it to any other parents? Yes, I would. Yay! Um, next question is, did we try different brands? That was probably a thing most recommended to me watching other people's videos was not to commit to one brand. But I did a ton and ton of research on different companies, local Australian companies, American companies. Um, we did not go with an Australian made company, um, which is probably my only, not regret, but I wish that maybe I had a tried an Australian uh, local made company just to see how they held up. But this brand was the highest recommended to me with the least amount of issues, the best warranty. I felt really comfortable in getting the whole brand. Um, so I haven't used any other brands. I have had a lot of friends recommend other brands to me. So I'll be sure to list any other Australian made companies that have been highly recommended to me down below, but I can't personally, you know, vouch for them. Whereas these brands, um, we've never had an issue. Uh, we do get a couple of leaks. We got leaks mainly, um, overnight. So at the moment we're using disposables overnight because they do, um, soak up more and they don't create a rash for Noah if they're on for that long. Um, but at the same time, I we these come with extra inserts and I haven't tried adding one to see if that does help the nights yet. Um, because he was just getting really red from having it on overnight. That He's got super sensitive skin, got eczema, so that wouldn't be an issue for every child. Um, and they do come with added inserts and you can also buy different fabric inserts. We just haven't found that really necessary we just use disposables overnight most common question i get asked is are we still using cloth nappies um so no it is now 10 months old and yes we are still using cloth nappies i use them full time at home i use them out on the go the only time we use disposables is at, like i said at night um i'm finding it really good i couldn't see a reason why we would stop i think it's definitely been worth our investment um, in what we would have paid in disposables, uh, creams and wipes and everything like that. So a lot of people ask us about the environment. That's one of the, one of the main reasons I wanted to start using cloth nappies was, um, yeah, to save money and save the environment. The disposable nappies take years and years to biodegrade into the earth and, um, that was one of the main reasons. A lot of people say to us that obviously with this you create more washing i still feel that the water if you actually look and research disposable nappies the amount of liters it takes to actually of water to make the disposable nappies um you'd actually be quite shocked i still feel these are definitely the way to go the other question is or the other reason we decided was money um to save money I think when we did the calculator when I was pregnant, it said that in the years like of generally, by the time your child would be trained, we would have used uh, three to five thousand um, dollars in nappies alone. So that's not sort of your wipes and uh, nappy creams and everything like that. So with the nappies, um, we did go with quite an expensive brand. There are some very cheap options and really great options. There is, I wanted something that I'd be able to keep up, so I didn't go with the easiest options. You can still get pre fold nappies like the olden days with the material, um, and then you put like a cover like this over them. I'll link it down below, but there is a great company that I've had heard great things about, but I didn't think that I would be able to keep it up and I didn't want to spend the money and give up so I did spend a little bit more money to get something that I think would is super convenient not just for me but for daycare babysitters grandmas husbands everything like that so you'll see once I show you the design how easy they are they're basically exactly like a disposable except we wash them we do use the nappies on the go as well we have um, 
I think usually three or four in his nappy bag unless we're going out for like a full day. Uh, we also carry a wet bag with us which is what we put them in once they're uh, wet or dirty. Um, we just don't use uh, our normal cloth wipes when we're out. We use disposable wipes uh, when we're out. We just have like a Huggies pouch and I just refill it. Um, so that's what we use when we're out and about. But I don't find it any harder using the cloth as opposed to disposable when we're out. It doesn't really change anything. So because we're washing everything anyway, it was sort of easier just to be able to have the wipe, pop it in the nappy and put it in our wet bag as opposed to having disposable wipes, picking them out, putting them in the bin. These are the wipes we got. They're just literally um, like a like cotton material uh, threaded around the edge. Um, I know a lot of people make theirs. I certainly didn't have the energy or time to make ours. I got them off Etsy and I will put the link down below of where I got them. We probably got about 60 and it's like, you could probably get away with half of that. We'll have a bunch in our wipes warmer and then I'll have like three other stacks ready to go. So then if I'm washing them, I've never ever ran out. Yeah, they definitely hold up. Well, we've been using them 10 months and they're, they're not frayed, they're not damaged. Also, the other question we get is nighttime routine. So I've said that we do use uh, disposables at night at the moment. Um, probably can try using the um, extra inserts for the nappies and see how we go. Um, it's just that being sort of that 10 to 12 hours. I don't change Noah during the night when I wake him. When he was a newborn, we changed him during the night as well. Um, so it wasn't such a big deal, but nappy being on for 10, 12 hours where the, you know, it doesn't wick away as much as a disposable does. So, so how we store them, uh, we have a wet bag. We have two wet bags in our nursery. This is what a wet bag looks like. This is a full one. <laughs> um, so that's the size we got. We also got these from the Kanga Care brand, so they match our nappy designs and uh, it's got a little hook and a button so we hook it on some hooks on our nappy change table and we just pop them in there I think I have three or four there's two in the nursery one in his swimming bag and then one for his daycare so um, oh, and we've got some smaller size ones probably about like an A4 size sheet of paper there for what we use uh, when we're that's what's in his nappy bag when we're out and about so first I'll show you the design of the nappies, um, starting with, maybe start with his newborn ones. Um, so these were the ones we bought for when he was a newborn. Um, that's sort of on the biggest setting. So we chose all snaps. You can choose Velcro or snaps for any of these nappies. Um, we found, um, I found from reviews that the snaps just held up longer. A lot of people had to end up replacing their Velcro and you also have to make sure the Velcro tabs are linked the tabs together so it's not exposed when you wash them. So you have to go through and do that every time you wash them, stick the Velcro on and put them in. So, um, so these are the new modern nappies. They're tiny now that I'm looking at them. They have the umbilical cord snap. So you can actually snap this down when they're a newborn. So the um, this material, PLU I think it is, is um, not rubbing against that and it's just the nice soft uh, material. Um, so the snaps have held up really well. Again, we didn't use these, they're basically brand new. These ones are the all-in ones, so everything is sewn into the nappy. Um, the main reason we bought this brand is because of this inner gusset design. Uh, a lot of nappies didn't have it. It has two, so most nappies will just have this outer gusset. Um, which is meant to catch all the poop. Uh, this one has an inner, so we have never had a problem with poop leaking out of these. They're super soft. This material is really, really soft. Um, everything's sewn in. So this is a really easy option to go. You don't have to pull anything out. You don't have to stuff it. You can literally um, just put this straight into the wash. The only thing is, just bear in mind, they do take a lot longer to dry because everything is sewn in. You can put them in the dryer, of course, um, but if you are hanging them out, I hang them sort of by these tabs at either end or over a clothes horse, but they do take a lot longer to dry than his other size nappies. This is the biggest size it goes to if you've got all the snaps open. So that's the biggest size the newborn goes to. And with the smallest, you just pop these in. And that down. And that's the smallest. So there's not a lot of 
difference in them, but they definitely fit him very well. Um, again, there's a, quite a tight gusset at the back so nothing comes up out the back and also the leg holes. You can see the double gusset. So for babies that have little, little legs. Also with these nappies, you can clip them not on their row. Um, so you can clip it down if they've got really tiny little legs um, and it makes the leg hole smaller. Whereas if they've got chubby legs, you can put it out and it makes it bigger without changing every other setting. So that was a great feature as well. Obviously they come in super cute designs. Um, we have the same designs for our bigger nappies, but they're in the wash at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's the all-in-one newborn size nappies. Never had a problem. It's just the drying time, but they are so easy and convenient. Uh, with our normal nappies, this is... You can use these. They say you can use these from a newborn stage. I found they didn't fit great from a newborn. I'm so happy that we did get the newborn nappies. As you can see the difference between that's the biggest setting and that's the smallest setting of those nappies so there is quite a difference obviously using cloth they have big fat tushies um, I found with all his pant size we had to kind of go up a little bit uh, to make room for the nappies but it's not really a big deal um, so this is the ones we're currently using these are called pocket diapers or nappies uh, this is on the smallest setting. Uh, this is the setting that Noah is on now. Yep, so that's his snaps now. He's all the way open. He can't go any taller, um, any higher. Um, he can just go further out. So that's the size he's on now. And this is the biggest size. So he still has a little bit to go. They say they can fit up to taller training, two to three age. Um, be interesting to see how Noah goes. I think it'd be fine. Um, so I'll just show you the inside of the nappies. They're quite similar with the snaps. They've got lots of rows out and down. So it's going to get quite a lot bigger. <laughs> so you can snap from the third one down, the second one down, and then this last one, and then that's fully open. It looks quite confusing. These ones don't have the uh, umbilical cord stump either. This is the inside of the nappy. Again, quite similar. Um, the material is the same. They've got the inner gussets and the outer gussets. So you might find that we have a little bit, little bit of poop leaking out of there, but definitely never out of the two. I've never had, a, even with like big poo explosions, they've never leaked out of these nappies. So um, the inner gussets are definitely what attracted me to these nappies. Um, so these ones are called the pocket ones, which means they have a pocket at the back. My only concern when buying these nappies was the poop getting sort of in there and having to get it out. But I literally have a pair of tongs or just use a finger and pull it out. It's really not a big deal if you're going to be cleaning poop anyway. Um, so that's the pocket die, but this is the insert that's in there at the moment. There are different types of inserts. There is a newborn size, then there is this size, um, which can go all the way out, or you can fold it. And you can either put this bulky end at the front or the back. So for a boy, they peter the front. So we have this at the front side. For a girl, you'd probably set it back because um, they tend to go backwards. Um, and there also is another, another insert the same size as this that clips onto here. So it's double the thickness um, and you stuff it in. So, so literally they're not that hard to stuff. It does just take a little bit of getting used to. So I'm going bulky end first. And just pull it through. Make sure it's sort of flat. And that's it, it's ready to go. So um, I don't find them that much harder to use than the all-in-ones, it's really not that much of a difference for me. Um, I don't mind them. I like that you can add an extra insert and you dry them and wash them separately. They do dry a lot quicker once you've washed them. So if you are sort of like needing to turn around quicker, these are probably better. You could probably get away with less because there's less drying time. Please comment uh, any questions you have. Um, I'll be sure to get back to you and answer them. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to see more videos. Um, and be sure to keep an eye out for the wash routine video. I'll go through everything we do about washing the nappies um, in case you didn't get enough information. So 